Welcome to your free video lesson from Teach You Comp Incorporated. Be sure to check out your exclusive discount offer at the end of your free lesson. Word makes it easy to create a table of contents for formal papers or longer documents. The process is fairly simple and straightforward. First, you must mark each title that you want to have appear in your table of contents with one of the designated styles that are available in Word. Heading 1, Heading 2, or Heading 3. You can then have Word automatically collect and display a table of contents based on the text that you have selected. Word will also update and maintain this information should you make editing changes after the table of contents has been created. This can save you hours of revision time when working with long documents. Now first you must mark the titles in your document with one of the heading styles listed in the Styles section of the Home tab in the ribbon. Note that you could also simply select the text that you want to include in your table of contents and then click the Add Text drop-down button in the Table of Contents group on the References tab in the ribbon. Then you can select which of the heading styles to apply from the listing of styles displayed in this button's drop-down menu. Start by going through the document and selecting the major or primary section titles. Apply the Heading 1 style to these main titles. They will appear in your table of contents as the main chapters or the main sections. Next you find the subordinate sections within each primary chapter and apply the heading st style number 2 to these sections. Now if you have subordinate lessons within these sections, you can actually select those styles and apply the Heading 3 style to them. So in our example here, we have some subsections of Section B, and we'll give those the Level 3 heading. Okay, at this point you would review to make sure you have all of your titles selected for your table of contents. Now once you've applied your heading styles to the titles in your document, it's then very easy to create a table of contents based on your selections. Start by clicking into your document in order to place the insertion point where you want your table of contents to appear. If you'd like, you can insert it onto its own page by inserting a page break. Next, click the Table of Contents button that's located in the Table of Contents group on the References tab in the ribbon. Then you can choose the Insert Table of Contents command from the button's drop-down menu in order to open the Table of Contents dialog box and display the Table of Contents tab within that dialog box. Here's where you can select the style and appearance of your Table of Contents. At the top of this tab, you can see how your Table of Contents will print in the Print Preview section. Below that, you have options for changing the appearance of the printed version of your Table of Contents. If you don't want to print page numbers, then click the Show Page Numbers checkbox in order to clear the check from the box. Also, page numbers, if selected, will default to being right aligned. You can clear the check from the Right Align Page Numbers checkbox in order to print the page number immediately after the chapter title. You can then select the desired style of leader tab to connect the chapter titles to the page numbers by using the Tab Leader drop-down and you should see how it would appear in the print preview above. Now, you can also see how your table of contents would appear if published as a web page in the web preview section. 
If you do not want the titles to appear as hyperlinks in the web page, then you can clear the check from the Use Hyperlinks Instead of Page Numbers checkbox. In the General section, you can alter the general settings of the Table of Contents. You can select a different general format for your Table of Contents by selecting a different choice from the Formats drop-down. And once again, you should see that in the preview above. If you need to display more than three levels within your table of contents, you can use the Show Levels spinner box to enter the number of subordinated levels to display within your table of contents. Note, however, that in addition to changing the levels to display in the table of contents here, you will also need to format those titles within your document using the additional subordinate heading styles, such as Heading 4, Heading 5, and so forth, before they would actually appear in your table of contents. Now once you've set all of the options for your table of contents, simply click the OK button to insert your table of contents. Note that the table of contents is simply a field. Like all fields, you can toggle the display of the field code between the actual table's content and the field's content by clicking into the table of contents and then pressing Shift plus the F9 key on your keyboard to toggle the view. Thank you. We hope you enjoyed your free video lesson from Teach You Comp Incorporated. Like what you see? Pick up your copy of our complete tutorial today and be sure to visit us at www.teachucomp.com slash YouTube for your special bonus offer. Our complete tutorial featuring introductory through advanced material is available on CD-ROM or digital download. You will receive our high quality video lessons plus printable instruction manuals in one easy to use training package. With over two dozen titles to choose from, you'll be sure to find the training you need in Microsoft Office, QuickBooks, Photoshop, and much more. Visit us today!